Hello, and welcome to um, my Android alarm clock tutorial series. And so in this series, I'm going to show you how to make an alarm clock where you can set and an alarm will go off and you can turn off the alarm, basic alarm clock. So um, in this alarm clock, I will first set it to 235 because I don't want to wait too long. So you can see what happens when I press the set alarm. Um, it says set alarm to 235. And this alarm clock even works when you've exited the app, so hopefully I realize fast enough so I can close it, just so I can show you that it goes off even when you're not in the app itself. So uh, what should happen is that you should get a notification pop up and you should hear some sound in the background. I do not believe that religion is the root of all evil. Thank you, Channel 4. Here's a notification. Religion is the root of quite a lot of evil, but that didn't make for a very catchy title. And then when you've heard enough, you can unset it. Um, so basically, um, instead of a normal ringtone, it will play a short snippet of um, Richard Dawkins. And there are about 10 different clips, each about 30 to 60 seconds long, and just picks randomly from the list. Um, you know, um, just randomly. So you get a different Richard Dawkins uh, clip every time you set the alarm. And that's how the alarm clock works, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So uh, first, I just open up your Android Studio. I already have mine open, and you just want to make a new project. Whoops. Come on. New project. And you can call it anything. Um, I'll call it. What kind of alarm? Maybe I should make a Douglas Adam. How do you spell Douglas Adams? Alarm clock. And so you get a Doug. But you can put any sort of, um, you know, that's just a default setting. You can put any sort of audio clip you want. Just the default settings are fine. And we'll just create it. Um, so in this video, I think we'll just set up the UI, and then in the next couple of videos, I will show you how to actually program it. Alright. Great. I'm going to move this code out. And it should, Gradle should be running, um, rendering, etc, etc. We'll just let it index itself. Great. So it looks like everything's done. So the first thing we want to do um, is put in a time picker. Um, is this it? Yeah, there it is. This is the default Android time picker. Um, and we have a hello world here, so you don't need that. We'll just delete that. Um, here is our time picker, and what else do you need? We need two buttons to set the alarm and turn off. Uh, that's important. So we'll put a button here and a button there. And let's go to the XML. So time picker. Um, this is fine. This is fine. Um, time picker. So we'll call this the start alarm. Um, whoop, this is layout below. Whoops. <laughs> so the ID for this is going to be the start alarm. And for this one's going to be end alarm. Mm -hmm. And we'll make the text here set alarm. Actually, it doesn't make sense because we'll want to call it set alarm. And this text will be turn off alarm. Actually, I don't like set alarm. We'll do alarm on. Turn on alarm. Turn on alarm. And this will be alarm on. And this will be called alarm off. Great. And that should be our IDs. And there you go. Um, so this should be... What should it look like basically? And 
I will be showing you how to actually code this in the next video. Alright, thanks for watching.